Hey guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial, I want to give you a quick overview of the application that we are going to build in this particular course. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create two different Salesforce orgs and in one Salesforce org, we are going to load employee data. So we are going to load employee phone number, their date of birth, their first name, last name, employee ID, etc. So all of this information we are going to store in one Salesforce org. I'm kind of mimicking a real life scenario here and that org can just not be Salesforce. It can be another system. Okay. It can be a Java application. It can be anything, but just assume it is another Salesforce org and that Salesforce org has all your employee HR data. And now this second org, what I'm going to do is I am going to provide an employee number and based on that employee number, I want the call out to happen and then it should fetch me all the necessary details of that employee from this other system and display in my Salesforce org. Okay, so two different Salesforce org behind the scene. We are fetching the data from the other org and displaying in this main org of ours. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is my first org and the this is the org that I'm logging in. You can also look at the color of the org. In this org, I have loaded employee HR data. Okay, so here, I have created an object called employee HR data. And in this org, I have loaded all the different employee information. So I have stored their employee number, their first name, last name, salary, date of birth. All of this is stored in this particular org. In the other org, I am going to be fetching this data. Okay, so the other org is this one it's called the case app client this is my second org so if you look at the color here this is blue and this is green okay so there are two different separate orgs here over here if i go over to contact object let's say here i have created if i open up any contact record on this contact record i have created this button called fetch employee data so i'm going to click on that button and behind the scene it is getting a screen flow and on that flow, I have to enter the employee ID. Okay. And the employee ID I'm going to be using from one of these employee records. Let's say this is the employee ID I'm going to provide and I'm going to put here. And here, if I go next, it is going to fetch this information from this org and display me over here. So if you see here, this particular employee is first name is Deepika, last name is Kanna. This is their date of birth. This is the salary, all of that. So it is displaying all this information on this org. I am not storing this employee data in this particular org. The employee data is in this org, but from here, I am fetching that information and I have not written any line of code to do this. So let me give you another example here. So let's say we fetch employee data. And this time we pull another employee information. You can give any. So let's say we go this employee ID. Okay. This is the employee ID. And then I'm going to hit the next here and it has fetched the information of that employee. And you can see here it is Elizabeth Brown. This is the date of birth. And in this particular org, there is nowhere I have stored. So if I go over here, show all data, or let's say we go to data export. And if I go ahead and do select ID from employee, I do not have a single table with the name of employee either in this particular org. So the data is coming from this org and we are displaying the information in this org. So there are two separate systems. In real life, you can assume the other system is a Java application or a .NET application, and then you are retrieving data from that application in Salesforce. You are not storing the data, you are getting the data on demand. And how did I do all of that? We are going to see starting from the very next tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.